got your emails, we got your voicemails, web crawlers, web crawlers, lay your Hello and welcome to Web Crawler's Mailbag Episodes. I'm Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. This is where we play your voicemails and talk about our favorite show, The Torkelsons. Uh, <laughs> I cannot get over that. Uh, should we get into some voicemails? We have a email. Oh. Uh-huh. This is a anonymous Oh. Email. Has hello. Since so many news stories have been about crazy things that happen on flights, I thought it would be a great time to highlight that flight attendants at almost all of the major airlines are currently in negotiations for better pay and work rules. That's right. Good. Since COVID, people have really lost it when it comes to air travel and flight attendants have really taken the brunt of it. Yeah, I can't imagine. Pilots are safe behind the flight deck door and agents board the passengers onto the plane and then we as flight attendants are trapped 30,000 feet in the air with hundreds of passengers who could pull one of these stunts at a moment's notice. I'm not sure about all airlines, but American Airlines flight attendants contract expired in 2019 and they have not received a raise since then. That's crazy. And at that time, the job has done a complete 180. It went from a total dream job with the occasional crazy passenger story to a nightmare of being overworked, underpaid, and blamed for everything that goes wrong from screaming babies on flights to weather. So keep us in mind when you hear all of this craziness. Um, at APFA Unity is an excellent source of information on this topic. If you're interested, I thought I would just share this since every time a plane story is brought up on Binbo News, I get triggered. Oh, uh, no. I love the show. Yeah, you guys should definitely get raises. My God. Yeah, that's it must suck like now oh. having to deal with these people and then like people complain to you like, yeah. why is this person? Why is this person? Dealing? Why can you make that baby shut up? Like why? Like I, flight attendants don't have control over anything. Yeah. Or when they fl- uh, complain about like delays. Right. And you're like, I actually don't control the weather or the other airplanes. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm you want me to do. <laughs> the pilot. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not the weather. Yeah, it's just God. I feel so bad for flight attendants. I know, so it sucks. Yeah. One time, I will say I thought it was a little much. These, uh, or maybe it wasn't. You guys, tell me what you think. This couple behind me on a flight brought donuts for all of the flight attendants. Whoa. I thought it was really nice, but it was also like, okay, we get it. You're the best passenger. Yeah. I mean, that is very nice. It was very sweet. Because how often also... do you see people giving flight attendants gifts or anything? Probably right. never. Yeah. You know, in Hawaii, uh, every time I've ever been on a flight to Hawaii and there's, uh, I've seen like a, a Japanese family come on, I feel like. I don't know if it's a custom, but I always feel like I've seen them give presents to the flight attendants. Oh, interesting. Anyways, call in and let us know if you have a custom or if you give presents to flight attendants or if we should be giving presents to flight attendants. That is a good thing to do. Because also my thought was like, how do we know those donuts aren't poisoned? Oh, right. I wonder if the flight attendants ate. They did. Oh, they were eating them and gabbing with the with the guys behind me. Yeah, how do we know they're not poisoned? I mean, how would you get poison into Well, that's airport? what it is. I guess like you wouldn't get poison into the right. airport. You got a controlled area in the airport. <laughs> but like what if they crushed up Ambien or something? <gasps> right. And put it in the donuts. I'm overthinking right. this, but no, I, <laughs> that, I didn't even think about that. If they're like planning on hijacking the plane, right? And drug the flight attendant so they are sleeping, right. so they can. Yeah, well, that's I was thinking about it the whole flight. I like turned to my boyfriend oh. and I was like, I am like really You're thinking like about watching these donuts. Them, like, are they awake? Yeah. Are they awake? <laughs> Did it, were, yeah. Are they slurring their words? <laughs> huh. Yeah. Meanwhile, it was like this fabulous gay couple who was so nice and brought donuts sure. for like all the all the flight attendants. And they're just like sweet and nice and like being normal, like 
great people and then i'm like overthinking like should i have brought donuts like is it uh, like am i a bad person for not bringing donuts like what are the stipulations of buying do- i don't know so <laughs> let us know let us should know we be, should we be bringing donuts to flight attendants that is nice though to give them a gift or something yeah okay well let's get into these uh voicemails hey web crawlers listening to um the most recent 90 day episode and I uh, wanted to chime in about Allie, well, both of you, but Allie bringing up that she doesn't want to have sex after big dinners and after events and, like, forced sex. 100% agree with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my wife and I have been together for 14 years. Wow. 14 years this year, yeah. Wow. And it took us about 12 years to discover. And this seems like common sense, but oh, have, it took sex me. Beforehand. Mm-hmm. have sex before the event, have sex before dinner. It works every time. So, don't have sex. A little bit of life <laughs> Guys, stay out there, stay fucking. Stay out there, stay fucking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I sense. know. I guess I guess if you're like if it's like date night or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and then you can like cause you get all sweaty. Then you can like take a shower, you get ready, yeah. and then you go, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Stay fucking. Stay fucking. Okay, next message. Hey, web crawlers! It's Lisa from Southern California. I feel like Hi. I haven't called in a while. Um, I've uh, been keeping up with the show, and it's it's super enjoyable. I really love Bimbo News. You guys are kind of like my main news source at this point. So, <laughs> um, um, yeah, that's really good. I think. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel I probably said this all before, but I just you guys get me through the day. I love um, hearing you guys banter, and like I love all the I love hearing the stories of the callers who call in. Um, glad to hear Becky's doing better. I was yeah. um, my heart goes out to her. I cannot imagine, and I just hope everything is well and um, it resolves in the best way possible. And uh, also thinking about floor. Um, yeah, so yeah. sorry to hear um, that recovery is rough, but really glad to hear that everything was a success and it can only get better from here. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, thinking of everyone in the community, um, I didn't catch the name, but I want to I want to thank the caller who talked who was talking about like washing clothes when you first buy them. Um, I, yeah. I forgot her name, but she mentioned getting super bruised from a pair of pants. That's right. like my biggest fear. I come from a family where like when we bought new clothes, we just wore them, like yeah. even underwear. Yeah. Um, yeah. I We were just like, well, they're new, right? So it's fine. <laughs> but yeah. could, they could be totally covered in like, you know, chemicals from the factory, like dry cleaning. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely going to wash stuff. I'm still kind of bad about washing things when I get them. But yeah. I'm making an effort to like start because... Yeah, like you, you just don't know like where they've been before. Yeah. Um, I was in Japan for January for Ooh, like a few weeks. That's of fun. With my friends, we went to Osaka oh my God. and Whoa. a few of the surrounding cities. It was that's amazing. Such Jealous. Good food. The only downside. Yeah. This always happens to me. I got really, really bad traveler's constipation. Oh. Like I always do, no matter where we're going. Mm-hmm. I think it's more of like my schedule gets interrupted and my body's like, well, no time to poo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, it, it can get really bad. Japan yeah. was also particularly bad because we were just like travel. Like every single day we got up and went, went to a new city or a new town. So I really felt like my body really just locked down. It got bad. <laughs> my friends and I were like, oh my God, what do we do? Because of being like... I want to say four days, maybe more. I, for me, that's not like that. That's honestly not the end of the world because I have IBS type D, so oh, or I take D. Me too. But yeah, my friend was getting worried, so we were looking online. I never poo. And people online were saying to go to like one of the many Seven Elevens. They're great. They're all over the place, and get your. Uh-oh. Get an egg salad sandwich. Leave it out no. for a few hours. <laughs> Those egg salad sandwiches are They're so, so good. good. I know. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Lisa calling back to continue the uh, Japan story. Um, yeah, so I'm really constipated. <laughs> I mean, when am I not? But this was like, like <laughs> my constipation, even for me. Um, and we went to 7-Eleven and we got some Coke Zero Plus. Now, I've been checking. I don't think you can get it outside of Japan. Uh-uh. Um, 
but it's made by Coca-Cola and it has like some extra yes. stuff in it that served as like a mild laxative. Oh. Kind of like Miralax, I guess. Um, but it was effective. Like I've also seen online, um, people who don't have like constipation issues will get it thinking it's like the same as Coke Zero and then they'll be like mildly surprised. Um, oh, but wow. it's, yeah, it's like a white bottle and it's got like, a logo of like a happy like stick figure person kind of cheering probably because they're having good bowel movements <laughs> that's why they're happy it um, contains fiber and there's also oh. other stuff too um like in 7-eleven they have like this kind of uh fibery drink like it's hard to describe but it was kind of like an herbal tea and it kind of tasted like bran like not too bad like not amazing but oh. not a bad taste that helped too. And then for the flavorful option, there's a um, green juice type thing. Like it's like apple kiwi, like two types of green things oh, made apple, into a apple, juice. Um, that's good it's for people who can't have like any caffeine. Um, yeah. That tastes super good. So <laughs> that all helped. And <laughs> it was all. a good trip. So yeah. it's fun to let people know if you're constipated in Japan, look for some drinks at 7 Eleven if you don't oh. want to, if like laxatives aren't working or you don't want to take any more laxatives. Um, yeah. Uh, um, also, I like that you guys covered the woman who got scammed story. <laughs> The one who, the woman who handed 50K oh, to the CIA, right. quote unquote. Um, Crazy. yeah, I like, I kind of agree. Like, I'm like, I, my heart goes out for her. That really sucks yeah. <laughs> that happened. But also, I feel, I don't know, I'm, I'm not saying I'm immune to scams. Like, there's a scam for everybody. There's certainly sure. scams for me. But I have a feeling, I don't know, I don't think it would get that far no. for me. No. Um, my habit is like, if something's happening to me, I, I immediately start telling like everybody, like I can't, I, I, I start texting my roommate, my boyfriend, yeah, yeah, yeah. my parents. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like as soon as that happens, and even if the guy was like, don't tell anybody, I'd still like start texting yeah, people. For sure. I just, like, can't not I'd tell be like, people. This whole crazy thing and is I feel like they would yeah. be like, oh, no, that's not real. So that's like my, advice like if you think you're being scammed just start telling your story to yeah. other people and they'll like talk you down or like yeah, let you yeah. know if it sounds unrealistic um yeah in general i in general not into all right there's one more that part that's crazy it's coke with fiber coke in it zero plus yeah wow is it meant for like constipation or is it i don't know it's just coca-cola with dietary fiber it's Lisa for a third time. Um, just finishing my scam rant. Um, yeah, I think in general, like avoiding unknown numbers, like to see if they leave a voicemail. And then yeah, if yeah. Someone, you do. have to get back to you. You can just call them back. And a third thing that I've been thinking about is like if like you're, you think your bank is calling you or Amazon, you know, whoever, um, and they're telling you like something major, I think it's fair to just say like, hey, Thanks, but I'm going to, like, hang up and I'm going to call, like, or, or just hang yeah. up and, like, call, yeah. go through their customer service or their yeah. fraud. Um, like, this happened to me once, like, my credit card numbers got, got copied or something and my bank called me, left a voice memo saying, hey, there's been voice suspicious memo. activity on your account. We need you to call us and confirm right. but i didn't call the number that they left i don't even know if they left their number um i just like looked at the back of my credit card and called the yeah. like service yeah. number for best and stuff i think that's a good idea like even if you think it's legit like your bank or whoever always like it's okay to hang up and call a number that you know for sure is safe. Like the worst that'll happen is maybe you just get that you're just talking again to the person that called you the first time. Yeah. But better safe than sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. Everyone stay safe out there. Don't put money in a shoebox. In general, if a shoebox is involved, it's probably not legit. That's my that's my like my like one. That's if such a good money point. In a shoebox for the FBI or the CIA or whoever. <laughs> maybe pause and reflect. <laughs> Yeah, okay, reflect. I love you guys. Yeah. It's so much fun. Okay, everyone take care. Bye. Yeah, that's There's a really a good point. involved. Yeah. It's a scam. It's a scam. Yeah, probably not real. God. Man, I want to go back to Japan. I know, me too. I've been wanting to go forever. So nice. Okay, next, a message. Hello, 
ladies. Uh, this is Jordan Hi. calling. Ooh. Hi. Uh, you are well. It is my birthday today, and you know oh. what that means? It means that the queen, Allie Siegel, has her birthday coming up. That's oh, my gosh. I, uh, Happy birthday, Jordan. My, my birthday. That's how I remember my birthday. <laughs> Based on, on Allie's birthday. So, anyway, Allie, have the happiest of birthdays. Oh, thank you. Keep on trucking, girl. I'll so, try. I'll love try. You guys. Bye. Wow, happy birthday, Joran. Happy birthday, Joran. Yeah, wow. Saturday's the big day. That's how I know it's my birthday, because it's, yes, it's birthday. Allie's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next message. Hey, what colors? It's, it's Dina from Hi. Toronto, just to have Hi. another breakdown. <laughs> oh, no. I actually Aww. pay a therapist, so. I should probably stop calling you guys when this happens. But, no, it's okay. Um, I don't remember if I told y'all or not, but um, my mom, my mom's Alzheimer's has gotten pretty bad. And, oh, um, yeah, sweetheart. Um, this is, Canadian healthcare is amazing, but we don't have enough resources and um, there's no space for her in a home right now. So the move that my dad oh. has to make is calling 911 and then just saying, don't bring her home. So they literally just have to keep her in a hospital until space opens up in a home for her. Oh, and oh, no. he had to just make that call. And oh, um, no. Man, it fucking sucks. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah. If, um, I'm so if sorry. any of you out there have, have a loved one who has Alzheimer's, I'm just, I'm just sending so much love to you because this is, this is awful. This is, this is just, oh, no. this is the worst day. And two years ago today, I had to put down my soul cat of 16 years, too. So oh, what a fucking God. awful day. <sighs> Anyways, I'm sending so much love to you all. Um, no matter where you are at in life right now, some of us are going through hell and some of us are mm. doing great. And you know what? I'm just sending love to all of you keep pushing forward one foot in front of the other no matter how bad it gets we can keep going we can keep yeah. pushing through even when it feels like we can't we've got this we have a 100 percent success rate of making it through every day let's keep going all right I'm sending love to you all okay bye oh that's so sad Aww. We're sending you so much love back and we love you so much and we're here for you and don't stop calling, you know, the community and, and me and Melissa, um, we're here for you and we're, we're sorry that, you know, your family and your mom and you are, are dealing with that and we're sending you a lot of love and strength. How? No, it's not easy. Awful. Yeah, I'm so God. sorry. And we hope that a room opens up soon. Yeah, that's why I've been hearing about Canadian healthcare is that it's, it's free and it's great, but there's like, there's not as many doctors. Like you have to wait a while Resources, to get yeah. appointments and just, so oh. that's kind of a bummer. God, <sighs> if anyone is in Canada who listens and has any resources or, or yeah. knows of any places, you know, connect, um, we can it help feels each like other. Denmark or Sweden are like the only places that have like good health care. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. God, like figure it out, people. Oh, God. Okay. Next. Message. And Thailand, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Becky from England. Hey, Hello. 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 And I, like, thank everybody for their kind words. And I just don't feel like I'll, I'll put the message across, right? Um, I don't know what was it woman out there. I don't know. But I, I just found it really half-assed about it. And that is not how I feel at all. In fact, there's been quite a lot more lovely messages uh, mentioning me and well wishes and everything since I left that one. But... I just want to make it extremely clear that I think you're all absolutely lovely. Like, we, I, you made it clear. And yeah. Every time I listen to an episode and I hear, like, oh, Becky, I heard your message, hope you're okay. Anything like that, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Honestly, puts the biggest smile on my face. That's so nice. Um, I just I just can't even explain how how, how nice it is. Um, so I'm going to leave 
sorry, I'm walking the dog. Um, yeah, I just I don't really know how to express how how amazing it is, and I'm I'm just so glad that I found this podcast that many years ago. I'm just so grateful, just for Ali and Melissa anyway, just for hearing me out and validating my feelings and and yeah. everything. I just I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I just think you really helped me a lot, and I really Aww. appreciate. it. That's sweet. And I hope that comes across a lot more genuine than my last You're genuine. Even though yeah. It didn't sound it, like, we believe no. you. <laughs> anyway. Um, you guys are so funny. Some oh, weird yeah. thing that I just want to share with you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm gasping. I really need to get fit. God, I am so unfit. You just had a baby. You just had a baby. I swim off the day on the sofa now. I'm just gasping going up the stairs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm in this Facebook group. I've only had the noise and too much. Facebook group? I'm in this Facebook group called Baby's Due, December 2023. And it's amazing because there's all sorts of good stuff in there. Like, if you're worried about cement, you can post and people can sure. help or you can see funny stuff or scary stuff or just get help and just sort of feel like there's tons of other people in the same boat, which is great. But I've seen mm. something on there today. That has disturbed me to my core. Oh, oh. And I just have to share it. And disturb you as well. Oh, no. um, so I'll read it out word for word. Okay, so this oh. is the person in the group. Right. Yo, my spouse's uncle kissed my baby on the lips and proceeded to say that he imprinted on her like Jacob in Twilight. Huh? Okay, there's a part two. Wait. My uncle kicked my baby and imprinted. No, under. kissed, kissed my baby on the lips. Oh, I was like, said, <laughs> It's like why? No, and said that he had imprinted on her like Jacob in Twilight. <sighs> That's okay, disgusting. I'm thinking for more than a second. And um, you, right? What? Uh, That's just, disgusting. Really that. The girl has posted that my partner's uncle kissed a baby girl on the lips and then said. I've imprinted on her like Jacob from Twilight. That's disgusting. Just in case anyone lived under a rock and hasn't seen oh. Twilight. Uh, basically, it's this wolf thing where they get attached to somebody and that's it. Like they're mated with them for life in a way. Ew. And they don't have to do anything physically. They just can randomly imprint on someone, including babies. No. Uh, how weird is that? That's so weird. It basically means that we're destined to be together. And obviously, it was some weird jerk, but what's wrong with people? That's disgusting. Seriously. Ugh, people are gross. Honestly, like, I thought that is a one in a million minging thing. But my partner actually told me that somebody from his work, so bear in mind, is, like, almost faulty, said, like, they were having banter, and then he said something to Chris, like... You won't be laughing when me and your when I oh know, but you won't be laughing when me and Bella are settling down in twenty years. No, don't say what? that. What? He was basically making a fucking joke that he was going to be with our baby girl in twenty years' time when he's now forty. D- that's disgusting. That's f- Why? freakish. Men? No. <laughs> Men? Okay. Stop it. Stop no. it. That's disgusting. Bad. Anyway, I just wanted to share that because I just didn't realize that That's... it was a thing. And apparently it's a thing. Oh, Men make jokes about getting with babies in the future. Oh. <laughs> Very weird. Anyway, that's that's gross. gross. Um, love you all. <laughs> Bye. God, men are gross. That is fucking sick and weird. Like if anyone, if anyone. Yeah, knew, right. Or like a, someone I know like made a joke of that like to Ripley I would I would never talk to them again lose it yeah no that's so weird oh my god men need to stop yeah that that's men f- freak need show. to stop yeah hi guys hi this is Mikey um Mikey I Mikey. am um, a really big fan of the show, and I Hi. always, always think about calling and leaving a message. I always want to, like, 
plan it out and have something like <laughs> a big rant to go on. But I'm no. just calling for the moment um, because I'm having <laughs> surgery tomorrow. Um, oh. I've been thinking a lot about um, Floor and um, oh. Becky and um, all of their medical stuff that they're going through right now and I um I'm really open about all of my um medical journey that I've been going through I have had um seven surgeries and um 11 procedures uh within the last five years um and you know, maybe I can get into it in a later call because um, I'm really emotional right now because oh, no. I'm having surgery again tomorrow, and my last one was um, just a month ago. Oh, um, God. Tomorrow I'm getting my tonsils out and um, Oof, wow. my nasal passages widen. And oh. um, the recovery is supposed to just be mm. awful. And I am like, not prepared at all. I've just been like in denial that I have to have surgery again so soon. And so I, um, I'm just running around today. Um, I have a babysitter for my two girls, um, at home and, um, trying to get some stuff that I need last minute. I'd always like to get them a present, um, open in the morning. Uh, that's sweet. Or when I'm gone after I have surgery. Wow. So, uh, anyway, um, I'm not going to be able to talk for a while um, right. after Aww. this surgery, but I'm glad that I finally just, like, got up the courage and broke the ice and called. Aww. I would, um, you know, I'll call back and be a little more coherent um, no, the next good. time I call. I'm going to get cut off and it's to here, but... Um, Perfectly coherent. Again, uh, my name is Mikey. And um, I love the show. I love the Mail Day episodes. I love Bimbo News. I've never seen an episode of 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> and I just love you guys. And um, thanks. Oh, wow. That's a lot oh, of surgeries. Man. Yeah. Consoles in hope... nasal passage. I don't know if it's the same surgery I got. Because mine you wasn't had a really a surgery. Sur- I had a I had a balloon sinus plasty, which is right. like temporary, and I don't think oh. it worked. I don't think it worked. But oh, if hers no. is an actual surgery, yeah. like they can put like like stuff like like cartilage or like actual things oh, in your yeah. nose to crazy. Do you have your tonsils? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah, I never got mine taken out. I never did either. Um, wow. Well, we're wishing you luck, Mikey, yeah. and uh, call call in again when you're feeling better. Um, I'm sorry you're going through all this. Next message. Okay, just kidding. This is Mikey again. <laughs> <laughs> just let myself be cut off like that. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Uh, having surgeries all the time sucks, and just want to yeah. give support to everyone out there who's going through. Um, any medical crisis, medical issues, and um, I'd love to call back and talk more um, about that another time, but I won't be yeah. able to talk for like the next two weeks um, yeah, I because I have a lot to say on it. Um, oh. Yeah, please and, call back. Um, you know, maybe next time I'll share like my Instagram. I, I talk a lot about um, really openly about my journey. Oh. And um, yeah, drop the Instagram. Just yeah. sort of uh, normalizing women's health care. And um, yeah, just uh, let it suck. <laughs> so, Seriously. Um, anyway, thanks you guys for having this platform. I love you and um, love, love everyone out there. Okay. Bye. Wow. Yeah, call back and let us know your Instagram and what you're going through because, you know, it's definitely a topic of discussion that we like to investigate and know about. Yeah, drop the at. Yeah, oh, I just, speaking of women's health care, I just 
touch my eye and like something weird <laughs> weird was on my finger and now my eye burns in case you're on the Patreon. It was Patreon. a jalapeno. <laughs> yeah, it was a ha- raw jalapenos salsa. I was <laughs> eating this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two messages left. Woo. Here's the first. Hey guys, it's Carson City, Brittany Bitch, and Hi. I'm watching the Super Bowl with my husband and I'm, I'm irritating him because we have to keep pausing. He's like grumpy pants right now. <laughs> Yeah. Anywho, the <laughs> air pants, uh, SpongeBob Square Pants <laughs> is hosting with Patrick the Super Bowl. I know you guys talked about this on the um, in Bimbo News. I know, majority of people hate. <laughs> I'm a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, do you want to say hi? Say hi. Hey. Hey. There he is. <laughs> he's, he's, this is my favorite. Guy. He's a Zay guy. Anywho. Oh, fuck. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thinking of pants. Thinking of pants. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, SpongeBob, of course, and Patrick are hosting. But, um, <laughs> yes, Taylor Swift, T Swift, Swifty, is, uh, uh-huh. of course, at the Super Bowl, uh-huh. supporting her man, Travis Kelsey, as we all know. Um, but, <laughs> To be a 15 second thing. We're at one minute and 58 seconds. Oh my god. No, that's not what it was. It said, um, I'm gonna need a tailor because I ripped my pants. <laughs> what? I love you guys, but that's what she <laughs> That's good. They seem like they're having a good time. Oh, that, what, what a joke. What a joke. What, worth it. That was worth it. Okay, last. It's, it's her again. Of the day. <laughs> hey guys, it's Carson. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Uh, I was last night. I, and this is the day after the <laughs> Super Bowl, Monday, February 12th, wow. 10 07 a.m. <laughs> Pacific Standard Time. Um, anywho, I drunk called you last night, and you I'm did. not sorry about it. Good. <laughs> um, how, what was I calling out? Oh, more childhood movies. So I was calling to see oh. if anyone's seen these movies. Probably, maybe. So one of my I love like tents and orangutans. Still do. I love orangutans. They're my favorites. What? Um, they're so sweet. I feel like they're the most wise and amazing of the eight. Um, Did you say movies? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> yeah. Chimps are like the trash. That's an, that's an animal, right? Of the apes, but they're still entertaining. But they're really trashy and petty. The orangutans, I feel like great. B, B, no, B, C's Gracie, my kitty, and she wants to be friends with her. So bad, but Gracie is just not having it. Anywho, uh, like uh, so Dunstan yeah. checks in. Dunstan checks George in. Oh and right, dad, and it, he's like a single dad to two boys and they lived in this like five star hotel um, and there's this guy who tra- who is a guest that stayed in there and he trained um, Dunstan the orangutan to be a thief so like the orangutan sneaks into people's rooms and like steals their jewelry so there's that one um, and then <laughs> another favorite of mine was Ed and it had the guy Joey from Friends I don't know any... Oh, Jason Alexander. I know his name. That's George. But I don't know Joey's real name um, from Friends. I was never a friend's head. Um, oh, it's... Um, no shade to anyone that liked it. I just didn't like it. I'm, I'm a Seinfeld head, though. Um, yeah, so... Dun, uh, Dunson Chicks was the first one. And then Ed was the second one. And it was a fake chimp. And he's, like, the... They get him as, like, the mascot of or for the baseball team that Joey from Friends plays on. 
Um, but then, like, they see he can throw baseball. Like, he's got a hella good arm. So he becomes, like, the pitcher. Um, so there is that one, and he winds up living for Joey, and Joey hates him, but then he comes to love him. Um, and then another one. Here, I'm going to call back because I'm going to end, and B's freaking out. Let me see if I can calm her down. <laughs> Wait, that's the last mess. Wait, wow. you know what Dunstan checks in? Yeah, and then the movie Ed with Matt LeBlanc, which has an incredible poster. It's Matt LeBlanc uh, high-fiving a monkey. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I they're don't... both in baseball outfits. I don't know that I've seen that. I, I've never even heard of it. I've heard of Dunstan checks in. I've heard of Dunstan checks in. Ed is a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> Dunstan well, checks in. Well, have a, I have a lot to watch today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because um, who? Wait, who plays the kid? Oh, why did I think that was Jonathan Taylor Thomas? It's not. I thought it was Eric Jonathan Lloyd. Taylor. Ta- Who's Eric Lloyd? Wow, that's like a Mandela effect thing. I totally thought it was Jonathan yeah, yeah, Taylor. Yeah. Weird. Oh my god, Ed has like one out of Ed on IMDb. It has a two out of ten. Oof. <laughs> that's how that's you know it's good. Uh, not a good. <laughs> the chemistry between Matt LeBlanc and Ed, the monkey, is inconceivably wonderful. <laughs> inconceivably wonderful. That's a deranged, re- that's a crazy thing to say. Um, all right, guys, well, we'll keep on calling in with your favorite monkey movies. Um, <laughs> I'm Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. That's all, folks. Bye. Bye. Powered by ACAST.